Hello guys, Fru here. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, we make videos around technology tips, career advice and inspiration. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the programming language called Python. A lot of people are hearing about Python. A lot of people are excited about Python and they're asking the question, but why should I learn Python? What can I do with Python? What exactly can you do with Python once you learn how to program it? All right. That's the question we're going to be answering today. Now, before we answer that question, I just did a quick refresher here. I'll consider this a refresher where I went on Google and I just did this quick search. And here's what we can see uh, the query that I put in top programming language. That's it. That's it. All right. I just put that on Google and I'm going to do enter again so we can see that's live. All right. This is what the web is suggesting for us. Right here we have Python and then you have Java, JavaScript and all of that. So based on what we're seeing here, Python is number one, right? We can argue that Python is number one. All right. And if you go down, you can see a lot of articles. Let's just click on one of this. All right. Let's see what this article has to say. Well, they have JavaScript and they have Python at number two. All right. Uh, then there's Java and there's other, other languages. Let's just take another look and I'm just doing this all live. Let's look for images. All right. Uh, let's just click on one random one. This. All right. And there you have Python at number three. So our bottom line is Python is comfortably on the top five programming languages to learn. All right. We can continue doing the search. Uh, to prove the point that Python is, is a very important language to learn. Now, this goes into the, the core of the question for this video. Why should I, what can I do with Python? I understand Python is the top, one of the top programming languages to learn, but from someone looking in, asking that question, what exactly can I do with Python? And that's what we want to address. So I stumbled on this article. Again, I'm going to leave a link to this article in the description below. And it talks about a uh, real uh, what can I do with Python? All right. So this website is real Python and this individual, I'm not quite sure who goes into a couple of things that you can do with Python. So I'm not going to go through some of them. You can automate boring stuff. All right. Do you have uh, files coming in on your desktop every single day? You want to rename that you can use Python to do that. Do you want to automatically send emails? If somebody purchases your product, you can use Python to do that. So there are a lot of things that you can automate using Python programming language. So once you know how to write Python or you know how to program, you can take care of all of that. All right. You can stay on top of Bitcoin prices. There are people that are using Python, they're writing scripts that is checking Bitcoin. I know Bitcoin is almost like a curse word these days, but it's checking the prices for Bitcoin. Uh, and then based on the price, they might either purchase or, or sell Bitcoin. All right. So many things you can do uh, with Python. You can create a calculator, all right? Instead of using your phone, you can write your own calculator application that runs on your computer and you can use it uh, to calculate stuff. You can do that in Python once you know how to write Python code. You can mine Twitter, all right? I actually saw an individual that made a video and in that video, they were actually, uh, they had this Python code that would go to Twitter. It's gonna mine Twitter for a particular hashtag and if they saw that hashtag, they're gonna grab the tweet bring it in and put it into the database so they can then eventually uh, reach out to that person as a customer and sell to them. All right. That's something that companies are potentially looking for. And uh, you can do that with uh, Python. You can build your own blog. And I'm going to talk about this here uh, in a little bit. You can write your own blog. So instead of you having to go write your post on Facebook or go on, on, on LinkedIn to write a post, you can create your own blog, which is an application and host it yourself uh, and do all of that with Python. All right. You can build your own blockchain, Bitcoin, crypto, all of that. You can do that. Uh, you can, again, Twitter feed. You can make your own games. Uh, you can choose your own adventure. You can do some machine learning. All right. Very, very important. And whatever you can think about for the most part, guys, Python can allow you to do it. And that's why this language is so powerful. So if you've been on the fence and you're kind of thinking, should I learn this Python thing? Should I not learn this Python thing? Why should I learn Python thing? It's because once you know how to write code, you can take care of all of this. You can start doing all of these things uh, that you can see. Now, I know that having a list like this can be very broad and you know, you still cannot be sure what category uh, you fit into. So what um, I've done is taken that and broken that into four major categories four major categories and this is common across the web so most people will talk about the same concept all right so uh, you either going down the path of web development so either uh, like we talked about earlier creating your own block your own micro block you can leverage Python to do it there are lots of frameworks that allow you to do it one of them is Django 
another one is flask all right and for you to take advantage of that framework uh, you want to know some python and once you know python you can then go ahead and build your own blog uh, using python and uh, in the beginning uh, as a back end so if you're interested in web kind of things then python would help you for that the next category the next major category uh, is data analysis and visualization so if you're working with data a business analyst and you're having to interact with data you, you want to track your company to see how much sales is happening across different regions that's all under data analysis all right and then you can take advantage of python to do all of that companies are hiring a lot of people uh, in this day to do data analysis and visualization using python all right you analyze your data and then you can use again python libraries matplotlib and a lot of other libraries to visualize that data so that's one of the things you can do with python now the next one here is machine learning uh in the as of making this video i would say machine learning is one of the hottest topics when it comes to technology and to do a lot of machine learning people leverage python python has a lot of libraries when it comes to machine learning python is like way up there all right so if you want to do machine learning you better be learning some python and learning it very quickly right python has a lot of libraries everything from numpy Matplotlib, uh, I've already talked about that. Pandas, there's a lot of things that you can do uh, with uh, PyTorch. There's a lot of things that you can do from machine learning perspective, leveraging Python. So that's one of the reasons why people would want to learn Python. And then number four is around uh, scripting, which I mentioned a little bit earlier. All right, you might just want to write a script to clean up your your your, your desktop, like to remove uh, old files and to archive them. All right or to you know send an email to a friend you can do all of that leveraging python you can do a lot of scripting uh, with python so those would be the four major categories web data analysis and visualization machine learning and then number four uh, is scripting but there is more right there's more we can kind of keep breaking this down into different categories i included some notable mentions in there which would be game development all right say you're really into game you have your favorite games that you see online guys you can leverage python uh, to write your own games if you really wanted to right i, I remember this snake game like the, the, you know if you know the snake game that you can click and it's kind of following like almost like tetris 2 right you can write that in python put your gui on top and leverage python for that all right desktop application there are people building desktop applications there's something on your computer machine on your windows or your laptop or your mac os or your linux that you don't like write your own python code uh, to build your own application that runs only on your desktop all right so you can do that and then you can also do embedded applications python not so much for this for embedded applications and embedded applications might be devices right like watches or uh like medical devices or certain things that are you know they call that low level programming not so much for python but it can be done usually you see a lot of c uh, doing those kind of things right or maybe even java some form of java but more of c or c plus uh, plus but you can still do it with python it's still possible there are people that can really you know take their hat off and decide that they want to do python for that and still go ahead and do it so lots and lots of things that you can do with python so if you've been on the fence you've been thinking about learning to program and you don't know why this is an important thing guys these are all the things that uh, you're capable of doing once you learn how to program now you might choose a specific specialization based on your interest but on the broad spectrum these are the four categories all right and then if you want to see more details this book um there were a couple of books around this that you can read there's one that uh i need to find the name of that book which is automate boring stuff i believe that's what the name of that book is uh, let me let me actually search that i wasn't planning on showing that but let's do automate boring stuff book i believe that's the name of the book there you go automate boring stuff with python so uh this is a very interesting book i i haven't read it myself i don't have a copy but based on what i've heard it's a very relevant book if you're trying to learn python or to understand certain uh things that you can do with python this book might be something that you want to check out as well very very uh, important all right and then i did mention from here about web frameworks and django and flask some of those might not make sense to you yes what django looks like django is a website uh well this is a django website you can uh, go on the django website download that and then use it to build your own uh, uh blog or your own website as well all right and just as an example i talk a lot about uh Trilly. 
on this uh, on this channel which is an extension and guys please if you haven't uh, gotten the extension please consider getting the extension uh, it's really gonna help us we're looking to uh, grow and to really uh, leverage the extension to help people interact with videos even better so check out the extension uh, just grab the link in there and on the back end there is some uh, Python in there so my the stack that I used or my team used for this leverages Python all right and this can start giving you not everything is Python of course right but there's some Python back there so not everything is Python, but if you're thinking about doing something like this, guys, maybe if you learn Python, you might be able to, you know, build your own, your own application, whatever it is that you want to build. For this, I built it to solve the problem of watching videos and being able to bookmark videos. All right. So what is it that might interest you guys? If you learn Python, you might just be able to do it. And uh, before we go, I have a course on Udemy as well. It's a very new course uh, because of the demand for Python. I put together this course. Again, it might be a shameless plug, but if I put it out there, I would like to promote my own stuff. So guys, check it out, right? What you can do, just go on Udemy. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to the course in the description below. But if you're looking for it and you want to go directly to my course, because guys, I'll really I'll be happy if you can take the course from me. Go in there, just search for Fru Lewis on Udemy as such. So if you search at, uh, uh, for that on Udemy, uh, what you get is uh, that's me in the very first course here. It's still uh, brand new. All right, uh, please do leave some read of some ratings, leave some feedback. I really appreciate that. So click on that course. Uh, you can see the entire curriculum uh, walking you through into the specific concepts of uh, uh, Python programming. So everything from uh, just introductory concept, the basics, working with strings, numbers and variables. Guys, everything is covered in here. So this is for beginners. This is for beginners. If you've never done anything with Python, this can take you from zero haven't done anything with python to the point where you can start writing your own python code so i highly encourage that guys so go ahead and check out the course as always the link will be in the description below all right guys so there you have it what can you do with python these are the formula applications i hope this gives you some ideas if you've been putting learning programming aside you've been kind of been pushing it and saying uh, I, I i'm gonna get to that i'm gonna come to that at some later point guys hopefully this is the time to finally uh, get on board that project to finally master the language that way you can use it to build something amazing programming is so powerful not just because you can call yourself a programmer but because you can actually use it to build something you know someone said and i read a book a while back that says you know if you know how to program you can play god all right you can play god it means that you can create something from nothing this idea that exists only in your head you can just go on the computer and create something from thin air Think about Facebook, think about Google. Those, they, like, what is Facebook? Facebook is just all, all digital. Somebody just created it from, from nothing, all right? And that's why somebody said, when you know how to program, you can play God. So if you've been putting programming aside, guys, hopefully this inspires you, gives you some ideas. I'm gonna have a lot of resources below to learn how to, to, to write program. If you have any questions, guys, let me know. I'll be more than, more than happy uh, to share resources, to share ideas. Uh, and to help you along on that journey all right through here thanks for joining i really appreciate you uh, joining us today if you haven't subscribed again please do consider subscribing and if you have any questions any feedback let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to engage with you